Hello, my name is Zelfa, and welcome to my channel. Um, today I have this drawing that I did of this random woman on the internet, and I literally just searched up, I don't know, model photos or something? And, and then I, I found this picture, which reminded me of Aphrodite, as you can see up in the little corner there. So I modified her hairstyle and what she was wearing to fit that instead. I don't know. I thought she was really pretty, so that's what I did. Uh, this main thing was mostly to work on my shading. I wanted to be able to get the shading of humans right because I don't know about anyone else, but after drawing anime for a very long time, you don't really understand where the blush and shadows go on humans because you don't typically look at those pictures a lot. This just tells me that I need to widen my horizons maybe just like a little bit but you know I already do that quite a lot I just don't do a realistic style very often though I kind of wish I did because looking at this and what I know it looks like as the finished pro um, product I I kind of really like it of course, certain things in this drawing were harder than others, like guessing the arm underneath of her shirt. That was kind of hard. Also, drawing braids. Braids are complicated. I don't really understand them, which is probably why I couldn't braid to save my life. Because as soon as I start, I get so confused that I look in the mirror and I see that something's going the opposite direction. And I'm like, wait, what did I do? And I have to go back and restart all over again. It's frustrating. If there was at least like one thing that I could name that I didn't really like that translated from the stories of, you know, the original Greek gods and goddesses that came into now is how they draw the woman. Because guaranteed, yeah, the men look strong, especially if you look at the statues that they have of them. I suggest you do, because if you look at Aphrodite's statue, you'll see that she's not skinny people back then loved curves which i think is amazing and i don't know if it's just because we have you know grown up watching things like barbie on the tv where they're skinny or they're extremely masculine and we're taught that's what we should look up to but i personally think that it's very wrong i don't know whatever I catch myself thinking not great thoughts about myself. I have to stop and remind myself that if someone, or the majority, I guess, loved Aphrodite for her body, why should it be so hard for somebody to love me for mine? And why should I criticize myself? Because honestly, if I could say something... I wish for a genie to change something in my brain. I would wish to be able to look in a mirror and have no problem with how I look whatsoever. Wouldn't that be nice? I would love that. Or maybe no mirrors at all. That'd be even better. <laughs> Except for when you have to do your hair. You'd have to rely on other people, which would not be fun. Does anyone remember when they made mirrors? I bet you if they had pictures of stuff, people before that, they always went to a hairdresser and makeup artist or something like that beforehand just to make sure that they did not look a mess because otherwise you're getting painted and then you, you know, come home, you look at it and you have like three hairs sticking out. And I don't mean tiny hairs, I mean giant pieces of hairs. I don't know if anyone has experienced the pains of curly hair, but that's usually what it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.